Hello Kimo friends and welcome to this new video. So today we are here with uh, a Tolkien fan film named The Horn of Gondor. Now you know that I don't do a lot of fight analysis but uh, I have seen this fan film which is uh, out since the 15th of, of September more or less and uh, I was like wow now considering that is uh, as I said a fan film I was not expecting like a very high quality uh, fight, but uh, to be honest, it's better than most of uh, the historical or fantasy film that we see around. And uh, now, considering that in the Lord of the Rings we see pretty interesting, let's say, fights, this is uh, at the level of the Lord of the Rings, or I would say even better sometimes. Anyway, uh, let's watch the fight and then, ah, first of all, sorry. Uh, remember to watch the video before I show you the fight because it's a really uh, interesting and lovely um, video. So I will suggest you if you want to, s to watch this fight analysis just watch uh, the uh, the entire fan film before because uh, well, you don't I, I don't want to spoil you anything. That said, let's watch the fight. So everything starts when he, let's say, understands that uh, there is something wrong, of course, and he's going to watch for it. By the way, I, lo I love the environment in which this film was shot. <laughs> A rock. So he is uh, basically a man of the East, I would say, most probably. Now, I really like how this fight starts because you are not always aware of everything which happens around you. Okay. That's kind of normal, right? Now, probably using a better timing for this trap would be a better idea for this guy, but, you know, it's a, it's a film anyway. Now watch this. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> now the bind is not perfect, but anyway, uh, he's pairing also, so uh, this is a really good thing to see especially in a fan film because we we see the level of this kind of fights increase uh, through time so i am really happy to watch this kind of things in a fan film uh, uh, video especially now, of course there is some pirates especially from the orcs because you know. ah, i love this fight Look at this, man. I I was so happy when I've seen this. Of course, because it's my, it's one of my way to go actions. But look at this. The timing is really good. Now, of course, the thrust is not perfect because they, they are doing like stage fighting. They don't have to die in the process. But the timing of the action is really good. I, I, I am like astonished by the quality of some actions in this video like also this kind of let's say this arm but it's more a uh, I would say some kind of um, manipulation of the opponent's wrist is uh, basically um, an adaptation of uh, a disarm that we find in the German tradition, German Lichtenauer tradition, and is really well made. Now, I would say it is a disarm. Look at this action. Now, basically, the armor stops the blow. Now, this is another. Look, so the armor stops the blow, which, right? The armor is there for this kind of motivation. That this is another <laughs> important aspect of this 
uh, of this fan film. He treats the armor as it is intended to be, so a protection. Then he uses the time that the armor uh, uh, brought him to grab the opponent's uh, blade, which makes sense. It's it's uh, extremely important. Also, sometimes I suggest my students to grab the sword anyway if they if they get uh, hit on that side of the body, because uh, um, the, the let's say the the our chest is one of the best. Um, let's say not in that specific point in which he has been hit, but the chest is one of the uh, let's say strongest part of our body. Speaking about the the bone part, of course. So sometimes you can just receive this kind of hit, and sometimes it uh, if the if the sword gets to a let's say large part of your chest, it's even hard to cut into it. In fact, in fact, we don't see a lot of advices to cut on, on the torso in the historical manuals. We see thrusting, generally speaking, on torso and cuts uh, most of the times on the head or on the arms. So, anyway, this is a good idea, good action. I love it. Let's go. I, I also love this kind of bomb strike on the arm. We see a lot of uh, hand swording. And uh, of course, I have spoiled you the Mordo because I was like, oh, Mordo! Again. We see this kind of binding action. Uh, this bind rotation of the mind. It's, it's really fast, so I will just go for uh, 0 0.5 speed. In the video, maybe we can watch it in a slightly better way. So here again, the action before. Then there is our beloved cut on the torso, smashing the arm. The throw, which is funny. Good. Look, this is cool. Now it will probably be uh, ended, so the fight right now the the line was open for the torso but of course he was in danger for the head so like controlling the blade is not a bad idea but anyway look at this, this now it, it's it's too cool I can find the proper spot look it's astonishing and then the Mordo, the, that is like so strong that he falls under it. Let's watch again. Look. This is basically the disarm that we have seen before. But I will say that is made in a slightly better way. He uses the fact that his uh, arm is uh, or has this protection, but anyway, when you stop the opponent blade, it's a lesser threat. Uh, I would say 99% uh, lesser threat compared to the uh, moving sword, so you would uh, go for it anyway, but uh, with the, the the armor, it's even better to go for this kind of prism, So, And you see, he uses the leverage on his uh, uh, chest to to do the disarm basically and the sword flies away he uses the momentum to charge the mordo so this is a very smart thing the the the, the fight director was probably really good Bam. of course this thrust is the i need to buy time for something else to happen because uh, you don't have to charge the, the thrust in, in this way, but this is uh, a thing that we see in every kind of thing where a uh, uh, sword fighting, a sword fight is involved, because you need to buy time to make something else happen. And you have seen like, this kind of action for the, by the orc. <laughs>
like these hand parents, I also enjoy it. Sometimes the guy on the floor star just keeps rolling. And you can just run this gear. Hmm, not happy. So I will. Right, we are going to in 0.5 speed. Let's go back to normal speed. Let's watch it again. No, it's my blood. Cut this cut. Good. I particularly enjoy this kind of tism now. It happened three times till now. But I don't bother. Like, if it works, it works. Headbutt! Yeah! <laughs> So now basically the interesting part of the fight ends here. Now there is a very small bit, I will say of fighting, it's not really fighting, but you will see um, everything when you watch the entire video. So this was the fight of the Horn of Gondor farm film. I was kind of astonished by the quality of it. There are uh, pretty interesting uh, uh, historical plays into it, also the form of uh, the fighters is pretty good. I especially love the Sotano, the Orvasa Sotano, which ends one of the fighters, uh, one of the orcs. And uh, I would say, generally speaking, is a good level uh, of um, historical European martial arts kind of stuff, uh, related stuff in this video. So I am like, I am super happy of to see this kind of things. And uh, to be honest, it doesn't happen so much now in in the last year last two years we see more film and uh, now fan film that uh, showcase uh, pretty good historical swordmanship um, and I hope that this thing will uh, increase in the future so I hope you enjoy this short fight analysis I am not the best of doing this kind of thing so it's not my main uh, goal my main interest but i was so happy to see this kind of uh, uh, let's say fighting level in a, in a video which is not only or especially about swordmanship now, now you expect something like this or well even better from the adoria guys but uh, this fan film is just made for being a talking fan film a fan film so fantasy stuff mainly anyway so i'm happy to see this kind of things very good uh, I just say to everyone that made this uh, video that is pretty cool. The story is really interesting. I love it. The fight is really good. And uh, well, thank you for made this video. And uh, thank you guys for watching this uh, video as always. And uh, if you remember, remember, oh my God, remember that if you want to support me, uh, and my channel you can just check the link of my patreon page in the video description and uh, well as always see you next time